welcome back to my channel. Today is a Costco haul, super excited for this haul. I got a few things I really wanted to try and just get, so definitely excited for this haul. You know your girl got some refrigerated stuff, so we definitely have to hurry up. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this haul. First things first, I got my hubby some Nutrigrain granola bars. These were on sale for $9.59, I think. Sorry, you know, you know me with this Costco math. They always do like the weirdest numbers. Like why can't it just be 99 or no, it's like $3.70 off. Anyways, I think it was like $9.59. There you go. Box of, I believe, 48 bars. Yep, so those are gonna be for my husband's lunches. Since I can't have sugar, they are good though. The apple one, my favorite, but nope, not for me. <laughs> Next. This is for me, some beef jerky. This one's actually really good. If you guys have never tried it, I really enjoy the Kirkland steak strips. These ones are really good. They're thick, they're soft. I really like a soft jerky. So they're really, really good and the flavor is good. So um, these ones are $9.99. They were not on sale, but I just really like them. They did have one of the beef jerkies on sale, which was like the Hawaiian something, Hawaiian Island or something like that. It was like a teriyaki flavor. It just had way too much sugar in it. So this only has four grams. That one had like 10 grams, just to give you a comparison. And it was $8.99. It was for a little bit more ounces, but I rather just prefer to get this without all the sugar. Next thing I got was this salad topper. I will be eating salads for like the rest of my life. I'm just kidding. Um, but I will be eating salads all this week. So I thought this would be nice. So it looks like this. It says salad tar, oh my God, I can't even talk today, you guys. You know how many times I tried to film the beginning of this video? Crazy, something's wrong with me. Anyways, salad topper, it is organic, and you have, uh, let's see, does it say all the stuff that's in them? I don't think so. Well, I guess the ingredients will tell you if it wants to zoom. Let's focus, there we go. Dry roasted sunflower seeds, dried cranberry, sunflower dry roasted pumpkin seeds, tamari sauce, and that's about it. That's pretty good. Not too bad. And it's 24 individual, oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, what's wrong with me? 24 individually wrapped packs. Very nice. So that'll be easy to put in my lunch pail. Next thing is I got chicken. I always get the organic chicken. I always uh, bounce around between the chicken tenders and the chicken breast. Sometimes I like to do tenders, especially depending what I know I'm gonna eat with it. So since I'm gonna do salads, I'd rather have small pieces. It saves me the trouble of cutting up the chicken breast into strips. So that is why I got this. And then under it is ground turkey. So it is four packages. It comes out to $2.59 a pound. That's a really good price. That's almost my stock. Actually, that is my stock up price for ground turkey. So really good price. Organic chicken, Costco is seriously the cheapest you're gonna find it. $4.99 a pound for chicken breast, which is basically just you know tenderloins. Really good. My market average is $6.99 to $7.99 a pound. So definitely saving money there on the organic chicken. Next are these baked chips that I got, again, mostly for my husband. I don't think I can really have any of these. We'll see, I might grab some here and there, but for the most part, they're for my husband's lunch as well. Those ones were on sale and they were, let me check for you, $8.99 for 30 bags. Really good price. Usually, if, if you guys notice, usually when I do a Costco haul, I always have some boxed chip of some sort. It's usually just kind of what's on sale and obviously if we like it, my husband likes baked chips so he's totally fine with that. So these were the ones that were on sale, good deal. Next were these cauliflowers. Oh my gosh, you guys, what is wrong with me? Broccoli. I'm done, I'm done. Don't listen to me anymore, I'm done. Broccoli, broccoli florets. They're already cut up so that's really nice. And um, it says on here, which is kind of cool, I just noticed that, it's kind of dark in there so you won't see it, but it says one bag of florets equals eight and a half crowns of broccoli. That is great. And this was, how much was this bad boy? I want to say they were, oh, $4.99, five bucks. So if it's eight and a half crowns, that means you're getting each crown of broccoli for less than 99 cents. Not too bad. Next were the mini Baybell cheese. I'm so glad I caught these on sale again. Um, definitely, I love these. They're the light ones. The regular ones are also on sale. And these were coming out to, I believe, $7.49 or $7.59. And it's for a huge 32 bag. So really good. That's like the price it is at my market for like 10 of them. So definitely, I should have probably gotten more, but it's all right. So definitely, I stocked up on that. 
Next thing is Greek yogurt. This is actually a big container, much bigger than the regular ones at the grocery store, and it was $5.99. Let me just confirm that, $5.49. And actually, I've never tried the Kirkland brand Greek yogurt. I love Kirkland brand, so I'm gonna guess it's good. But if you guys have tried it and you didn't like it or you liked it really, you really liked it as well, definitely comment down below how you feel about the Kirkland organic Greek yogurt. I really like the consistency of Faye and Chobani, so I'm hoping the consistency of this one is that Faye Chobani consistency. Okay, so that's that. I do not like um, the store brand. Greek yogurt as far as Ralph's, the Kroger one, even their organic one. Mm -mm, no, not my cup of tea. I didn't like it. So I'm hoping this one's good. Next thing I got hiding down here are these little baby cucumbers. It's so funny. On the receipt, they're called... Sorry, that was my dishwasher. <laughs> Rudely interrupting me. It's funny. On my receipt, they're called mini cukes. That's cute, huh? Mini cukes. So it looks like this. $3.99 for this whole bag. These are going to be snacks for me. I'm just going to munch on those. Next, I got this organic spring mix. So it's just a big container of it. Also $3.99. I think that's a really good price. Hold up. I'm missing big one. Yeah, there you go. There's that. Next, big old bag of organic quinoa. This is how much? Oh, $9.49. And if you're wondering, it is a four and a half pound bag. I think that's a really good price because I have compared it to the market. Great bang for your buck. Next are eggs. I always get the organic eggs from Costco. I have a thing with eggs. I just got to get them organic. And they are, I think, $6.49. Yep, $6.49 for 24 of them. So not a bad price at all. And last food item are these fully cooked mini wontons chicken and cilantro if you guys are on Weight Watchers I'm not doing Weight Watchers really anymore these are great because you get you get to eat so many of those for so little points and they taste really good so I do like those those are on sale for I want to say like five something five ninety nine really good price all right now on to the other non-food items we got fish oil fish oil was on sale this is 1000 milligrams also I want you to guys you guys to keep in mind if you're a supplement person it's a thousand milligrams but it's actually for one soft gel so sometimes it'll say a thousand milligrams and be cheaper but you have to buy like i mean you have to eat and not eat you have to take like three of them to equal the 1000 milligrams this is 1000 milligrams for one so really good so you're getting 400 soft gels the kirkland fish oil was on sale for 750 which is a great great price because these things can range for like up to 30 to 40 dollars especially if it's different brands, but the Kirkland brand's really good, 1,000 milligrams, so really good. Next is this uh, natural biotin for beauty, and it was on sale for $7.99. Sorry, I had to look at the receipt. $7.99, it looks like this. I'm actually kind of excited to take this. So it says promotes healthy hair, radiant skin, strong nails, supports carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism, provides energy and support. And it's a fast dissolve. So it's 5,000 mi micrograms, maybe? I don't think it's milligrams. Okay, and then I got this. This one was just pretty and intriguing, and I just got it. I definitely did not have to get it, but I wanted to try it out. So there, um, it says, it just says variety masks plus two bonus exfoliating pads. Sorry, there's a glare. But if you look here, I don't know if um, it's going to... Let's see if I can try to zoom in here. No, I don't think it's going to focus, you guys. Oh, right there. I guess you can see it. Milk, honey, pearl, charcoal, charcoal, aloe, aqua, and collagen. And then plus, plus, sorry, uh, it says milk feel, milk feel. I, the, those two, I guess, are the exfoliating pads. So that is what you're getting there. If you want a review on these, let me know. Maybe I'll do one. And last but certainly not least is Tangled. You guys, how do I not have the movie Tangled? I looked on Amazon and they're always sold out. So Robert was like, let's go down to the Disney movie aisle at Costco. But our Costco is new, so they haven't really had any Disney movies. But we're like, oh, let's just go check. And they had Tangled and it was $17.99, such a good price. Even um, Amazon is more expensive than $17.99. And it is Blu-ray and um, regular DVD. Yay to Tangled. Okay. That is my whole entire Costco haul. I paid a grand total of, 
I did do a little bit of a budgeting, so I have a grocery budget. So all grocery items were $154, and the collagen, or not collagen, but the um, all these masks and the movie were $34, $32, sorry. So about $180. Woohoo, Costco! Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what you're getting at Costco this month or what you want to get at Costco. And also, again, let me know about this Greek yogurt, if you like it or not. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!